In this episode of Viral Rewind, we're looking at the HHNHH virus, or sometimes known as Big Ball, which is probably easier to remember. And it's another memory resident file infector, but it has a couple of interesting things that it does. Let me open HHH41. So we've loaded the HHNHHH into memory there, but there's an interesting thing about the virus. It first hooks the timer interrupt, and then what it does is it waits 20 seconds, so it actually doesn't begin hooking into interrupt 21H, which is, you know, the main DOS API that viruses like to use for file infections. It will actually use the system interrupt to wait 20 seconds, and then it will hook into interrupt 21H to start its file infection routine. Now, why exactly it has a delay in it like that, not entirely sure. Now, the one that I'm using is a version that has a bug that's been fixed in its version because the original version, or at least some versions, have a bug in that where the timer is so long that its actual infection routine doesn't activate until m many minutes later after it's first loaded, but this is the correct version and it works the way it's supposed to, so pretty much by this time 20 seconds has already gone by, so we can start doing infections of files if I go into the DOS directory. So let me see, what does pend look like? 11,186 Still 11,186. Maybe it is infected, maybe it's not. Let's yeah, see. No pin. Again, that's an executable, so let's try a dot com file. So let's see. Copy, just copy. Okay, this copy's been infected with it because it's 14,519 bytes now. So it's a dot com infector, doesn't does not look like it infects dot exe files. So I'm run this copy a couple more times. And it looks okay. Now the interesting thing is is that the payload on the virus activates with a certain keyword, but before I do that, its infection routine is also a little interesting because when it wants to infect one of these .com files, it first renames the file to .capital A, then it infects it, and then it renames it back to its original file name. Now again, why it does that file name change, I'm not sure, but the virus does have some potential antivirus capabilities in it because it will unload itself from memory if it senses that you're trying to run something like Dr. Webb or AVP or some kind of program with that name that corresponds to an antivirus program. So it may be trying to do that renaming as a part of evading antivirus software if it's got one that's loaded and it doesn't recognize. But anyway, about the payload, the payload is a little interesting because it looks for a specific keyword on the screen at any given time to activate the payload. And that word is ESIC, capital E, lowercase s-i-k. And if I leave it there, the screen should disappear. And see? What it did there was try to run the payload, but the thing about HHNHH is if ESSIC is just there on the command prompt, but we don't hit the return key to make it seem like we're trying to execute the command, then the actual payload doesn't run. It just briefly flashes and goes away. So we're pretty much right back at the command prompt here, although we do kind of have a little piece of graphics sticking out there. So let me retype ESSIC, and now I hit return, and now ESSIC is staying on the screen there instead of in a typed field. So if we wait a couple more seconds, 
it will see Essek on the screen and now we get this graphical payload that comes up on the screen. And this is why the virus is called Big Ball because we get this bouncing ball going around the screen here and pretty soon it will also start drawing lines on the screen as well. See here it's drawn the lines on the screen. Now I'm not entirely sure again why the virus looks for that name Essek on there. My only guess is that this virus was written maybe for somebody that had the first name of Essex spelled like that. And if they ever opened a document or put their name in a name field or something like that while this HHN HH virus was loaded into memory and scanning the screen for that Essex name, it would pop this payload up to annoy them. Now the payload can actually be exited out of. If I hit the one of the letters on the keyboard, it comes out of the payload. However, we got a bunch of garbage sitting on the screen here. Let me clear it that way. But of course it's continuously scanning for Essek because it's still loaded in memory, so if even if we go back to the prompt or something like that, if Essek is still showing it will relaunch the payload. See, the payload just started again because we had Essex showing up on the screen. Now, HHNHH is not destructive or anything like that. It just infects files and then looks for that Essex text string on the screen somewhere. So. You know, it's not going to destroy your programs or anything, but it is going to infect your .com files. And if you get put them on another computer, well, then that computer's .com files will subsequently get infected and so on and so on. But, again, the only way this payload is going to appear is if someone has capital E, lowercase s-i-k, Essex showing anywhere on the screen. So that's pretty much it for the DOS virus HHNHH or Big Ball as it's called.